ahead and get started showing you what we did. Um, so with string instruments, left hand, right hand do totally different things. Um, and that's really great for their brains, we talked about, right hemisphere, left hemisphere. And we learned a few exercises um, that show us how to get those neurons firing across the brain so that we uh, perform as well as we can. So, Jack the Box. One of the biggest things about being in a music program, you gotta work together. We succeed together, hopefully. We don't, but we fail together. So, all these things will show us how we do this together. Okay, so, it's So anything that goes across the midline of your body gets your brain firing left to right. So we do the infinity sign with our right hand, and then switch to our left hand. I can feel those neurons firing already. Can you? And then we learned how to conduct a little bit. So we went down, in, out, and up. Down, in, out, and up. We're going to take my job. We don't need me anymore. Okay, and stop. And then we do a quick. Left shoulder, right hip, head, shoulder, hip, head, shoulder, hip, freeze. Okay. One thing that we want you to help your, stu your student with, and this goes for band students as well, your student will take their instrument home with them this evening after the concert, and then we have about six or seven weeks of summer, and we've talked a lot about care of the instrument. For string instruments, um, it means that we talk about it's like the baby or the puppy. Don't leave it in a hot car while you go to the mall or to the beach. Make sure it's not sitting in front of the air conditioner vent. It needs nice, even temperature, stays in the case. Don't let little people play with it because that's how things break. We want your student to be able to practice. So we did spend a lot of time talking about care of the instrument. You may go ahead and sit down front edge of your chair. Okay, and then the next thing is we have to be able to hold the instrument properly in order to make it sound good. So, show me rest position, cellos, bases, go ahead and pick it up. No bow yet. Should the shape of your hand be? 
Okay? So they should have that nice curved fingers over the finger board. And now we'll do the A string. Of us putting fingers down, of us using just the bows on the open strings. 
So again, putting those pieces together, we're going to play two songs for you playing pizzicato or plucking the string. So we also did learn a little bit of Italian uh, all the way So, no big deal. So we're going to play hot cross buns, and then we're going to play jolly old tin a little Christmas in July, Jul June, whatever the calendar says. <laughs> So now we start putting it all together, we start uh, picking up the bow, and as you're playing songs, playing the Marco, or playing it you know, with the bow. So we're going to play two songs. We're going to play Jolly Fellows, which uses just the first string that we learned, our D string, and then we're going to play All Clear de la Lune, which uses the A string, which is again the second string that we Thank you. 
learned a song where we don't all play the same note and the same rhythms at the same time. So we have each different instrument section starting at a different time. It's actually really, really cool. It's something that you know, we usually don't get to for you know, at least the first couple months. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys again for coming out and saying how much progress we've made. Uh, hang tight, we'll get the band up here in just a couple minutes. Thank you again.